Welcome ladies and gentlemen, Gorhamian here with Misfit Studios as always, and today we're going to be talking about stabilizing shaky video in HitFilm Express. Okay, so to stabilize the video inside of HitFilm Express, of course you need stock footage. So let's go ahead and play through that stock footage just to show you, you know, the shake isn't all that bad, but it is there and it is noticeable. And we want to get that out of the video. We want to stabilize it so it's nice and smooth and stationary, okay? Um, so of course what we need to do is we need to right click, make composite shot because you can't do that in the editor. And we're going to rename this shake video. That we've got a name for it okay and so the most important thing about this method of stabilizing video is you need to track a point to at the center of the shot or as close to center as you can get it okay because what's going to happen is when you track that point let's say you track a point up in you know this windowsill here okay if you track that point it will drag that to the center of the frame and then stabilize the video around it okay so think of it as trying to find the dead center of the video and HitFilm is going to cut the edges away that extend past the viewer, if that makes sense. I know it's kind of kind of difficult to explain. So let's go ahead and show you the steps um, and then maybe you can catch on as we go. Okay, so we're going to bring this down. We're going to add a track because we're going to need to track a point within our scene. Um, and if we looked at our stock footage, let's play through that again. It looks like the brick here is roughly the center. It looks like it lifts up a little bit. Or maybe we could, you know, track this little, <clears throat> excuse me, this little point of the brick here. Let's go ahead and do it there. So our tracker is actually going to appear at the center of your footage anyways. And so just keep that in mind. Whenever you add a new track, it's going to throw it at, um, you know, zero axis on the Y axis and zero axis on the X axis. Okay, just within your, within your viewer. So let's go ahead and move our tracker to that little corner there. And what we're going to do is we're actually just going to let HitFilm track and see how well it does instead of going frame by frame like the last couple videos. Because this is going to be a nice cut, clear um, corner. The pixels are, you know, nice and clear. It's not, I don't think I'm going to have to worry about, you know, stopping and adjusting things. So let's go ahead and just click play on that. We're going to keep our default settings, optical flow. The option is going to remain at 25% error tolerance. And then the single point position only because we're only going to be tracking one point. We're not going to be worry, worrying about um, the scale or rotation of anything because we're, you know, going to be stabilizing this footage and not adding any special effects. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and hit play and we're going to go ahead and track through that. Okay, so now that we've got the track done, you can see that, you know, through each frame, we've got, you know, all of our little blue X's just to give us a track line, just like any other track when you're adding, you know, um, a little image, whether you're doing a four point track, where you're, whether you're doing rotation or scale, it doesn't really matter. It's the exact same process. Um, let's go ahead and scale to fit. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go over to step two, which is applying a layer. Um, since we're stabilizing this footage, we don't have to add a point layer or a plane or any other extra layer within our editor down here because we're not adding anything um, like visual effects, you know, like a little fireball or like a little light inside of a candle. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to come over here to the purpose, drop that down, click stabilize. Of course, you can't click the layer because you're not applying it to a layer of any sort. So we're going to go ahead and hit apply. What that's going to do is it's going to position that tracker in the very middle, just like when you brought it up the first time. Let's go ahead and play through that, bring that back to the beginning, and show you kind of how it works here. We're going to zoom out just a little bit, and you're going to see these edges turn to checkerboard as that moves. So let's go to the viewer, zoom out just a little bit, and click play. See, those checkerboards are actually what HitFilm is trimming off of the video, okay? It's still shaking, you know, a little bit, but what it's doing is it's allowing that video to be stabilized through this point right here in the video, okay? You need to find a stationary item, like something that's an inanimate object, you know, don't stabilize track that's, you know, a person because it's going to track that specific point throughout the entire video. So let's go ahead and export this out and look and see what it looks like when it's exported. Okay, now that we've got our video exported, let's go ahead and take a look and see how it did. 
Okay, see how the video is stabilized, but the borders of that video are starting to move, okay? Now, we're gonna go ahead and fix that now. So let's go ahead and exit out of that, go back into our editor. And what we're going to do is we're gonna bring, um, just kind of look and see, drag our slider around just to kind of see the extremes of how far out of shot it's cutting off the video, okay? Um, it looks like, Looks like that's about the farthest down that it goes. So what we are going to do is we're actually going to drag this up and then bring down this just a little bit, just to slowly move that video in. I'll go ahead and play that again. Now it's moving around the scene. See that, how it's actually following that track. So it's actually moving the outside of that video. So to eliminate that, we're actually going to make that a little larger than it is. So let's go ahead and blow this up just a little bit. Just zoom in just a little. It, it doesn't have to be crazy. Um, but then we're gonna go down in our transform panel. We're gonna click the position. Make sure that it's at zero. It looks like it is, so it's actually centered. And let's go ahead and play th through this again. It's not too bad. We don't have any of our borders coming into the field of view. So let's go ahead and export that out one more time and we'll see how it did. Okay, so we have finally exported after we have zoomed in just a little bit to try and cover up those borders um, of our footage. That way we don't see the actual, you know, footage move inside the frame. So let's go ahead and play through this and see how it looks. Great, that's actually not bad. Just a little tip, when you are shooting footage and you know you're gonna have to stabilize it later, go ahead and shoot a wider angle than you need to, okay? That way it gives you a little bit of breathing room when you go ahead and zoom in and make those borders a little bit bigger. That way it doesn't, you know, cut into your footage and it makes it a lot cleaner, okay? Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for watching. Please hit that subscribe button, comment down below on anything else you wanna see from HitFilm, and we will see you guys next time.